My name is Matt Rich. I'm the senior pastor here at Unity Presbyterian Church. I want to welcome you to this week's edition of Life Together. This coming Sunday is March the 24th. It's the technical and formal beginning of Holy Week with Palm Sunday. Many of you will know that here at Unity, we have been walking with Jesus in Jerusalem since the beginning of the season of Lent. We had a version of a palm parade with fake palms on February the 18th, a month ago, and yet now we finally have reached the official day of Palm Sunday. So we are pulling out the real palms this week. The choir will process, the children's choirs will be here to process and to sing. We'll have opportunity for all children and families, anyone who'd like to be a part of that palm parade as we begin worship this Sunday. So come a few minutes early to grab a palm and to be a part of that, both at the 845 service and at the 11 o'clock service. It's gonna be a marvelous beginning to our worship together, both services, so come and join us. If you're unable to be present in person, you can always find us online. I guess you'd have to find your own palm to be able to parade around your house at home. But 845, 11 o'clock, you can find us on Facebook, on YouTube, and on the church website. But come and be present here for worship this Sunday, Palm Sunday, here at Unity Presbyterian Church. However, just as the it happens for Jesus in Jerusalem, the mood shifts fairly quickly. And so we will make that shift together here at Unity in our worship this week as well. From the joys of Palm Sunday to a crowd that has called for Jesus to be crucified, and we'll be thinking particularly about that language, they crucified him. What is crucifixion? What does that mean for us as followers of Jesus today? What was it like back then? What does it mean in terms of the gift that we have received? We'll be thinking about all of that together this Sunday here at Unity Presbyterian Church. In between our worship services at 10 o'clock from 10 to 10.30, come to the Fellowship Hall. Everyone is invited. There's no other Sunday school classes this week because we want everyone to come and be a part of our Children's Wax Museum. They have worked really hard. They've got their costumes. They've got their scripts ready. They are ready to share with each of us people Jesus met somewhere along his life and his ministry, his journey that has led him here to Jerusalem. You're going to have a chance to meet them face to face in the Fellowship Hall with our older children. So come and be a part of the Children's Wax Museum. Uh, meet the people that Jesus met, first person accounts with our children this Sunday from 10 to 10.30 in the Fellowship Hall. So please be a part of this exciting and wonderful time. It's a unique chance for us as well. Sunday afternoon, hope that you'll come back and be a part of the special musical concert, the chamber trio that'll be present um, and playing for us uh, this Sunday afternoon at two o'clock. You'll see more information about that as well. Looking ahead to the rest of the week, we uh, the week to come, we've got Monday, Thursday, which is a traditional service remembering Jesus' final meal before his death uh, with his disciples. So we'll celebrate communion on, uh, on Thursday night. That's March the 28th at 6.30 p.m. here in the sanctuary. We'll um, then gather together with our Fort Mill Presbyterian uh, congregational friends um, here in, this, in our sanctuary at Unity on Friday, March the 29th for a Good Friday service at noon. Uh, prayer stations will be available before and after that service, but not as a part of the service uh, this year. But do come and join us noon on March the 29th. And then Easter Sunday, next Sunday, we'll have another video about that, but three worship services on Easter, 7 a.m. in the historic sanctuary that finishes on the lawn, and then 8.45 and 11 o'clock, both identical services with music and everything here in the sanctuary, overflow seating for both will be available because we anticipate both will be full. So be sure to come and be a part of worship together here on Easter Sunday as well. We are looking ahead to marvelous opportunities in the weeks that are to come as well. Be sure that, uh, that you sign up to be a part of the blood drive. That's on April the 9th, uh, our next chance to give blood here at Unity. Uh, you want you to also sign up for Go Mad Day, Go Make a Difference Day. We'll all be serving together out at Bethel Woods, uh, our Presbytery camp. That's on Saturday, April the 13th. But registration finishes uh, for that at the end of this month on Easter Sunday. So be sure that you are uh, signed up for Go Mad Day. 
We're also in the midst of our hymn challenge, uh, March Madness hymn challenge. Uh, this coming week, we've been voting on the final four and beginning Sunday on the 24th, we'll be down to the finals. So be sure that you click through on the links and, um, and cast your votes uh, from Wednesday to Sunday, Sunday to Wednesday uh, for our um, March Madness hymn challenge. So I want you to be a part of that uh, as well. My friends, look at all the wonderful things that God is doing for us and with us here at Unity Presbyterian Church. Last couple of videos I've been sharing, it's time to sign up for Vacation Bible School, and I think that that registration is actually full. So, so many of you have signed up to be a part of that, and we've got some waiting lists, but contact Catherine McGregor for more information about that too. So come and be part of all that God is doing in Jerusalem with Jesus, in Fort Mill, with us here and there.